this picture was shared by the good folks over on the Fire and the Kids subreddit. And it's pretty glum, pretty glib, pretty depressing to look at if you're Brendan Shaw, to be honest. It's pretty, pretty, pretty depressing. Here it is. So it features a picture of Brendan Shaw side by side. The picture on the left is taken from a show mm, some year. You, you can't, it's not 10 years ago. How much? I think it's like maybe five years ago from the King of the Sting when he used to do it only with Theo. And then obviously the right is taken from the latest episode of whatever show he's got on Thick Boy. And obviously, you know, age beats all of us down. So there's no shaming him on that regard. We're all going to end up looking like fucking raisins or fucking avocados very, very soon. But God damn it, man. The difference is fucking frightening, isn't it? Like, uh, let's not zoom out again. But the difference is absolutely frightening, isn't it? Like legitimately frightening. Like how much he's fucking deteriorated over the years. And a lot of people are ascribing this to alcohol. And I don't know. Do you guys think it's alcohol? I think I think this is more so stress. I know some people say alcohol can make you can really age you quickly, but it doesn't make any sense to me because as a long time Fire and the Kid fan, I remember the times when Brendan used to brag. Imagine this, Brendan used to brag about not drinking. There was a time when he used to brag about not drinking alcohol. He'd be like, oh, yeah, I don't drink at all. Um, you know I mean, he used to look down upon it, right? And then he started getting into whiskey. But that only happened within his, like, I don't know, when he was, like, 37? No, 35, 37? So I can't believe somebody that's only been drinking for, like, less than five years is going to age like that. It just doesn't make any sense, especially in your, in your adult years. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Um... But then also, to be fair, as some people are saying here on the chat, Brendan gets like, Brendan's not drinking. Like, this is a drink. I've had one Heineken. That's a drink. Brendan has like a heavy, heavy pour of whiskey. Like a like a heavy glass of whiskey. Like heavy, heavy, heavy pour. And he doesn't do any mixes. He just puts a big ice cube in there. So that's like, what? Easily two, three, four shots in there. And it's usually really early in the morning because he does it when he fucking does his podcast, isn't it? So I think he records his podcast like before 12 p.m., I think, or something like that. So it could be any time before like 9 to 12, which is super early to be drinking. So maybe there's some credence to be for it. But in my opinion, I think this is mostly a situation of like stress. And I would say from all the negativity he gets online, the comments behind his back from people in the comedy scene, the stress about, you know leaving or getting fired from showtime having to hold down a whole household and bills to pay you know cars to buy trainers to cop i think it's all that stress and the fact that he doesn't sleep and also another thing he's also one of those guys who doesn't believe in drinking water he brags about not drinking water he basically says he gets all his water from drinking coffee and shit like he does enough liquids that he doesn't need to actually drink water so that obviously is going to make him look horrible and to end it he doesn't um, use any moisturizer for whatever reason. He doesn't believe in moisturizer either. So he looks a lot more cracked up and bloated and horrible because of that. But I don't know. Maybe it's just alcohol. What do you guys think in the chat? What are you guys saying in the chat? Is it just pure alcohol? Um, what are we saying here? Uh, he looks bloated maybe from drinking, said Rashad. So everyone's saying drinking. Jack Miner says 100% booze. Jay says his diet. Um, Asti's. Uh, sorry, Ast Ast V says it all depends where you're from. Some okay, so talking about the homeless thing earlier. Um, Space Kai says aging and two kids. Um, Seven Ten Dabblers Dabber says it's all about the struggling. <laughs> Wells Cargo says those are the days when waking up and watching those old episodes when they were still first came out. Exactly. Jake Two One Three says al alcohol, HGH, and stress. So people are saying the alcohol, the roids, or whatever, and definitely the stress. Jay says the carnival diet got to him. No, the, to be fair, do you remember when Jordan Peterson was first doing the carnival diet? He looks fucking incredible. He was really gleaming. Like, he, his skin was really rich and vibrant. He looked really like his cheeks were sunken in, but not like in a really sickly way. He just looked like he lost a lot of good weight. His hair looked really luscious. Like, he looked really good when he was the first doing, um, 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 what you call it, carnival. Then he just went off the fucking reservation. Amy says, um, Amy K says he does drink a lot now. Um, he has an old guy who drinks a lot bloat. Yeah, true, in it. And he's also, you know, also you can tell he drinks a lot. He's also getting that old guy drinks a lot nose, where your nose just like grows and it inflames. I don't know why. It seems to happen a lot with white people. They'll have this. I know Alex Ferguson, the the fucking the Man United manager, has it as well, actually. 
um, Alex Ferguson. Nose. He has it too. He has a fucking whiskey nose. I don't know why it happens to white people. Maybe because your skin just shows, it shows up a bit more. But Sykes Ferguson, my legend, my goat, he has that kind of whiskey nose too from all the booze over the years. Do you know what I mean? Like it just looks, it, I think it looks, it looks fucking pink and purple there. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. That's, you know what I mean? That's a fucking beak. Someone's obviously photoshopped that. But that's a whiskey. I mean, that, that's a nose of somebody that's, that's not afraid of the bar. Do you know what I mean? That's a whisker. That's a that's a nose of somebody that knows where the fucking um that that knows where the bar the the team bar is for sure. Do you know? So maybe that's the that's the vibe. But obviously people are kind of photoshopping it there, making it look worse. But yeah, it's a it's mad to see in it. This guy isn't in, is he even forty. He's not forty yet already, and he's already looking this bad. Absolutely wild. Michelle said, "Love your energy and flow and your consciousness." Thank you, Michelle. Booze, meat, and carrots, <laughs> says Amy. I'm going to break out my crown. Uh, people are saying it. So, yeah, booze, booze. I'm dropping my beer and whiskey again. Too many chocolate chips, salsa cookies. <laughs> so, for 10 minutes. Oh, no chocolate chips, salsa cookies. <laughs> that joke, man. Honestly, that joke. I swear to God, that joke is fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> Oh, I have I have a theory. My theory has always been that Brendan secretly hates his Mexican family, and he ex- and he actually hates Mexicans in general. I have a theory about that because most likely, if he does live with a if if he's if his wife is actually legitimately from Mexico and they're they're true fucking from from country, most likely the mum lives at home with him. So he's he's fucking um what's what do you call that uh uh I don't know what what was it called when your when when it's your wife's mum. I don't know what the term is, whatever that thing is. So she lives in there, and for sure they all speak Spanish. He doesn't know a lick of Spanish. So he lives in a household where they all speak a language he doesn't know, and they probably all just ignore him. Do you know what I mean? Like, in the household, he's just, like, sitting there on his phone whilst everyone in the house just has their own kind of conversation, their own kind of life. Mother, I say mother-in-law. Bro, the, the fuck, my brain fart. He says, <laughs> but yeah, I have a feeling because of that, he fucking despises Mexican people and Mexican culture because he lives in a household where they're 100% Mexican. Do you know what I mean? Like 100% to the core. They're proud of their culture. They speak their language. They probably got Mexican TV on all the time on full blast. She's probably listening to Mexican songs. Probably got Bad Bunny playing from midnight to fucking, from morning to night. Do you know what I mean? It's all going on in there. So um, I can definitely see him having a bit of resentment <laughs> because of that. Oh. 